part of our season uh, this time of the year being winter springtime is blue rays the females tend to move up from the eastern cape all the way through to natal in about july august i'd say august is when they actually start coming um, all the way through until november what we find here in natal is the the females generally are full of pups and they are very aggressive and feed extremely well especially on big fleshy baits so what I'm going to show you to do as far as catching them go is the trace that I use um, basically what we're going to utilize for this particular trace is fluorocarbon um, 50 pound or 54 pound the reason we use the fluorocarbon is it's a lot heavier so it sits down on the actual sand um, in August all the way through until November our seas are quite big so we don't want the bait to move around too much hence the fluorocarbon and because fluorocarbon is a lot denser it sits nicely we're using a mustard uh, 4826T uh, Kendall Round as it's known it's a silver hook it is very sharp it works extremely well it's in line as well we're going to be using the chinu ringed 5 -0. it's a little skellum hook that i put on as you can see it's got a bent eye it's extremely sharp as well that's my little secret weapon there and our standard combination swivel and i'll try to get one out That is the four to five. It's a little bit big, but guys, it doesn't scare off the Blu-rays. Standard cone sinker, some cotton, my trusty knife, and of course a couple of sardines for the bait demo part of this. There's the fluorocarbon. I'm gonna just quickly tie a knot. Standard figure of eight, nothing fancy. When it gets down to about that distance from the R, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some heavy nylon, about one mil nine and I'm just going to stick it in behind the eye what that's going to do is cause a little create a little wishbone and I'll show you later on in the bait why we use it If you have a look there now, you can see that little piece of uh, nylon that I've stuck in there. I'm going to make it about 80 centimeters in length. And when we do this trace, the big eye of the combination swivel goes to your leader. The small eye at the bottom goes to your hook. And again, all I'm doing is just tying a figure of eight. Lubricate before I start moving it down. Once I get down, I can pull tight. And cut off the tag end. All I'm gonna do now is take a standard piece of nylon, Maxima, Kingfisher, and I'm just gonna make it slightly longer to put on my sinker clip okay I'm just gonna use maximum uh, I'm just gonna use fluorocarbon yeah don't worry about that too much
So we cut off the tag in there. Measure the length of it. And I want it to be about there. So I'm just going to cut it there. Sink a clip. And just attach a six ounce cone sinker to it and that's the length that I want the trace to actually be so the sinker is slightly longer so when it comes to actually clipping it it'll clip on okay now oh <laughs> I forgot the scalamook guys can you believe it working too fast not thinking about it let's put that on sorry about that so secretive, I actually forget to put it on. Now, I just wonder if my case is going to be long enough. I'm just going to cut the sinker trace again. It's just a little bit too long. Back to the beginning. There we go. Okay. To start this uh, bait demonstration off, what we have to do is a semi-frozen sardine. Blue, Blue Skates love sardine baits. It's one of their favorite food sources. So first things first, we're going to chop the head off and try and cut it as close to the gills as you can because what you want to do is try and keep all that oil and blood and that in the stomach area. Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to cut myself two nice stomachs out. There's one, second one. There's two lovely stomachs. And now what I'm looking for is the actual backbone part of the sardine. So what I'm going to do, and this one's a bit squiff unfortunately, just cut down it. Okay, cut it off there. And you see there, there's all the blood that we're looking for. I'm just going to trim it a little bit more. That's now going to be the base of my actual hook, okay, of my bait that I'm going to be using. Cotton. Okay. And what I'm doing now is tying the cotton around the wishbone part which is that piece of nylon that I left in there that's the part that's actually going to hold on to your bait when you throw so when you throw you don't throw your bait off or the bait comes up the hook or down the hook very important and I'm actually tying into that backbone part of it so I'm tying a lot of cotton around this part that's what's going to hold this whole bait together So what I've got is a long piece of backbone with a lot of blood coming through. Take my sardine, belly, open that up, take this one, open that one up as well. And just lightly with a chocker hammer or a knife you just soften it up a bit. 
this is a lot harder this piece I'm gonna have to do it a lot harder as far as cutting and the banging goes okay there we go now my other piece of sodding that I've got here I'm cutting at an angle to give you quite a big chunky piece of sardine that's now going to go on the inside like that okay and again I'm putting a lot of cotton onto it because it has got a backbone in, in it. So we're just going to tie that up nicely. Okay. Now we're taking the sardine, we're turning it inside out and placing one on either side. Next one, exactly the same, and this is when it starts getting really messy now. Then I'm taking my scallop hook, and that's basically what it's looking like at the moment. I'm taking the scallop hook, and at the back, I'm inserting it all the way through, quite deep into the actual meat. So it actually comes out over there like that. You guys see that? Okay. And what I do is I do a half a twist to the side of the bait. It just brings everything together. We then clip it. Cotton away that's sticking it. And that is typical Blu-ray bait that I would throw here in the towel for catching our Blu-rays. You can use red-eye sardine as well, it's a lot oilier, but that's a standard sardine, two bellies turned inside out, that hits the water and I tell you what, it's just blood everywhere.